Well, since I'm currently job hunting, I wanted to make a different type of video. Because you see how I appear now. I'm in shape, I'm muscular, especially in certain areas. But I wasn't always this way. And people seem to misread me because I walk around with these muscles and these tight shirts and I post stuff on social media about my training weight training boxing training and it hasn't occurred to them that how I started and I started being the complete opposite of what I look like right now anyone who knew me at that time knows this is a complete 180 of who I used to be. I was obese. I was suicidal. I was a drug addict. I was a food addict. I was a porn addict. British maids, for those who know, they know. I was a self-harm addict. Where would I self-harm? And I've had more suicide attempts than most people can imagine. Sometimes I try to drown myself. Sometimes I try to stab myself. Other times I would use drugs. I would take an Adderall. I was prescribed Adderall and I would mix it with liquor like a Bacardi or Don Q for those who are Puerto Rican in hopes that that combo would kill me. I hid the depression when I did those things. Doesn't change the fact that uh, I still felt them. It wasn't until late 2019 where I drastically turned all that around. It started with me winning employee of the month and realizing if I could set my mind to anything I accomplish, why stop at this? So I started with fitness. October, I ran five miles almost every day until my body couldn't do it anymore. Probably not the best method to lose weight, but I was a one determined motherfucker, to put it lightly. Then I started doing calisthenics I'm hitting a heavy bag that I did have before I went on this weight loss journey. Then I started buying some weight sets. Some were on discount at Walmart. Some I bought online. This is around COVID. Bought some swords so I could train with that. Something a little fun. Then I started going to gyms, developing different programs, making them more complex than they were when COVID was around. I started with Planet Fitness. Retro fitness Then I went to The gym I'm about to pull up on right now University It's like a bodybuilder gym More or less And then I went to Athletica Which is the one I'm at now And I have been there for the past year I have not missed a day of working out And believe me I've had moments where I Shouldn't have been working out and I did I remember one time I was in a hospital bed with a swollen leg from a spider bite. And when the doctors weren't looking, I got off the bed and did 100 squats. I busted my rib in a martial arts gym. Still worked out. Even though other people told me not to. I'm learning different languages. Well, right now I'm starting with Russian. I do my stop motion. I still do my music. I just don't upload it on SoundCloud like I used to. I train martial arts and I train with some of the most humble and badass individuals I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. These guys can fuck you up in less than a second, but they're really the most kind-hearted individuals I've ever met, which is a status quo with fighters. They're some of the most peaceful people despite the fact that they partake in such a violent sport. I haven't drank in four years. I haven't done any drugs in four years. At least not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> 
okay, if I'm being honest, I did relapse with porn. But it was for a very brief period. And eventually I just got tired of doing it. I didn't see the benefit in it. I just thought, why am I gonna pleasure myself when somebody could do it for me and do a better job? I haven't self-harmed. I haven't tried to attempt suicide. It's been two days since I recorded those clips, but I figured I'd finish the video. The point in this video is, if you're in one of those rough spots, like I was, as difficult as it is to get out of those spots, it's not impossible. Is it going to be a linear pathway? Of course not. <laughs> you're going to have moments where you can't control yourself and you're going to relapse. I'm guilty. I've done it before. It's all part of the journey. And as long as you have that drive to not want to be caught up in those addictions anymore, eventually you'll get there. That is not me being optimistic. That is me understanding how a driven individual works. When somebody is driven towards a goal, despite the hurdles, and the obstacles, they're going to get there. If somebody is driven to drop an addiction, they're going to drop it. If they're driven to work toward being a better man for their family, they're going to work toward being a better man. If a driven man wants to be successful, bet your ass they're going to be successful. Little to nothing can stand in the way of a driven individual. And what drove me to overcome all those demons that I had was me being tired of living with them, knowing that it could be so much more. It might be different for you. You just have to figure out why you want to overcome the demons that you struggle with on a daily basis. Once you find the real reason, you will find the drive. That's all I have for this video, folks. Hope that it helps.